Hey, what's up, y'all? This is uh, Bobby Wash. Um, Want to let y'all know exactly how I got Nexus um, to work inside of 9.5 and any other 32-bit uh, plug-in from the past. Uh, reason 9.5 don't allow any uh, plug-ins that's below 64-bit. Has to be a 64-bit plug-in. Can't be a 32-bit um, until I got a hold of JBridge. So J Bridge is how I got this in here. I'm gonna show you guys how I did it, and you see that it's working right inside of um, right inside of reasons. I'm able, I'm, I'm even able to uh, bring in my um, my sounds. Like I'm still loading the sounds for it. I'll import one right in front of you, so you can see you can, you can even import uh, in here as well. All right, and go to signature three. All right, so I'm actually importing the sound. So to show you that everything works fully uh, in here, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, while that's important, let me show you um, where you're gonna get this this uh, program from and how to use it. Okay, um, so basically, that's important. Perfect. You're gonna go to this website right here. Um, this wonderful guy, J Stuff. Uh, it's called J Bridge. J Stuff. forward slash J Bridge M forward slash. Now I'm gonna have this link in the bottom in the description of this video, so you ain't gotta worry about it. But I um, mean, you're gonna come here, man. Um, the guy got the software uh, for basically pennies, man. Just just a couple dollars. And that's it. Nothing, nothing major. Um, but he's, he's doing a great service for the community. Um, so I say support the guy. You know, support him. Don't don't uh, pirate the software. Support him. Um, so basically, I use the Mac version right here. Uh, Mac version it goes all the way from 10.6 all the way to 10.12, and they also have one for Windows. You click here to go to the Windows page. Okay, and it shows you here, you know, what it does and, and how to use it. I'm going to show you how to use it really quick, um, uh, how I used it on my Mac. Basically, after I paid for it, um, it came, you know, came to me in the mail. I downloaded it, um, and basically, uh, I just basically open up the application. And you open up the application by going to JBridge folder, on the Mac at least. PC is probably a little different, but it's going to have the same files. Um, so go to JBridge here, open it up, and everything's pretty much already set, basically. It's going to have where your VSTs are on your system. If you don't see your VST um, locations in here, just open them and change them, you know? But hopefully it should find it. Normally it finds it by itself. Um, you know, all this should be already set, okay? Um, and it's going to actually put it where, it's going gonna, it's gonna to tell you where it places it after you're done. All right, so basically... You want to choose which plugins you're going to be bridged. Well, I want to bridge 32 plugins. I want to change 32 plugins to 64 bit. So I'm going to select the 32 bit right here. At the bottom, it says choose your VST host architecture um, to start the operation. So basically, my host is uh, Reason Propeller Head and it's 64 bit. Most programs today, and today is 2017, they are 64 bit. They're not 32 bit anymore. So you're going to probably select what I'm selecting, 64-bit. Once you select this, it's going to begin scanning all of these VSTs. If you got hundreds, if you got thousands, it's going to scan through all of them. Let it. Let it change every one that's a 32-bit into a 64-bit for you because, you know, you might want to use them inside Reasons or whatever other program you want to use a 32-bit program in, but your host won't allow it because it's a 64-bit host. Host like uh, Cubase or Pro Tools. Okay? So basically, once that's done, it's going to tell you where it's located. And once it tells you where it's located, you're going to go inside of your host, which is I'm using Reason. You're going to go to the preference. You're going to find where the scan directory is located. So you press Add if you're using Reasons. And I went to where it was located. It's located under my, um, my computer name, Library, Audio, Plugins, VST, and then the name plug-in bridge that's where they put it automatically so I just chose it once I chose it it brought it here along with the other ones that were already in here okay because uh, reasons have it set up as well um, you know finding the VSTs it, the best it can so you just got to go be specific where bridge is located once you do that you close down reasons completely reopen it and when you come back to instruments you should have all your instruments here and your um, um, effects or whatever if you have effects like uh, reverb and stuff those should be in here as well yep all my all my EQs from UAD is in here um, all my all my plugins um, even the 32-bit ones obviously side squatch I mean everything it's 
my clone. So that's basically it. So basically, you do that and you just drag it over and 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 you're done. Now on a side note, um, addressing multi timbral instruments, um, I got in touch with Propeller Head, um, and they don't. Uh, they said right now 9.5 does not support multi timbral instruments. What I mean by that is, yeah, you can open up a Nexus. I'm sorry, not a Nexus. A, a, a contact five with 16 outputs, but you're only going to get one pattern, meaning you can layer instruments on different uh, tracks. Like you can have a keyboard on top of a pad and strings playing the same uh, pattern, but if you try to like use it to play like a, a different part, like a guitar playing one thing, a bass playing one thing, you can't do it just uh, just yet. Maybe in 10, um, I don't know for sure, but maybe. But right now you can only use the multi outputs as layering type of stuff. So if you've been trying to find out, does it do multi timbering? The answer is no. All right. So with that being said, man, subscribe to my channel. Give me a like for this video if I helped you in any kind of way at all. I hope I did. I got many more videos dealing with music, uh, dealing with film, um, you know, on the way. All right. That's what it is. I'm Bobby Washington. Peace.